Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 54. Uh, 55. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon, Patreon's team. Thank you very much, guys, for your generous help. If you would like to help me to be able to produce videos for you every week, please consider to support my channel. There are the links down below. And today we'll continue working on suspension. I already have here these U-bolts, so you, we can actually mount these bottom bracket of the suspension to the axle by these U-bolts. I've done some repetitive work off camera when I cut these shocks out of these huge brackets and i was thinking a little bit and instead of having this here for now we are going to have this over there for now because i might need part of hold the bracket for something maybe to attach the fender or something if i will not need it in the future i will cut it off let's go We are going to use this groove over here where the weld is and you are going to place this U-bolt exactly into the, into the groove and it should fix it in position. Our bracket is on the, on the top of the axle so there will be no weight on the U-bolt otherwise there would have to be much stronger one like this one which is originally on the rear axle where the axle is a little bit uh, wider than the front one they are strong affordable but they have different distance between the bolts so we need to modify them a little bit Awesome guys, I've got the U-Bolt done somehow. It would be nicer if I had the bender, but the vice is enough. So it will be something like this here in the groove. And we are going to drill two holes into the bracket. It still touches over here. I'm running to the problem a little bit over here because I try to have it in the middle, which it probably already is. I will cut a little bit over here and here so it will not touch it. So I will know exactly that's in the middle, but I don't have enough material over here to put the U-bolt here. So what I'm going to do probably is use this part only as a template and uh, the one I'm going to actually use will be, will have ball holes over here. So it will be a little bit offset, probably. Mm -hmm. 
So guys, we have plenty of clearance all around the axle. Everywhere here, nothing is touching. So we are going to do the second new bolt and secure it that way so it will not move like this. And over here we have completely different diameter on the, of the axle and it will be sitting pretty much be secured in this groove over here. So guys, I have uh, both U-bolts, but it's ridiculous to make this from this. I e either find some place where I can do the custom U-bolts for me or I'm going to make a bender. So now we are going to make two holes over here for this U-bolt. Yes, this is Evolution Magnetic Drill, brand new. Check this out guys, I think I have pretty solid base for the suspension bracket. I will have to cut these u bolts just at the level of the nuts, otherwise the, the steering wouldn't pass this way. These two points will be used to bolt the second part of the bracket which sits over there. I will have to do some trimming over here. I, will, I should have a little bit more material over here to have this part stronger. And everything will be, this is actually just the template because, uh, because actual bracket will be shifted this way, maybe one, one inch because I don't have right now enough material over here to secure this bracket to this point. It's not simple here. So, and I'm doing that because if I put there only two big U-bolts, it will be sitting only on, the, only on that one little flat place on the axle and I don't want it uh, somehow like bend and twist so I will it will rest on this point and also it will rest on this point Oh, this is so exact. Wow. Hey everybody, it's another day and we are going to work on suspension. Uh, there is uh, our template. I changed already the boundaries a little bit. We are going to flip it on this actual piece and we'll offset it a little bit and we should get the final bracket. In this case, it will be another side on the left side of the axle. Let's go work.
So this should be the final bracket. Let's cut the final shape of it. Check this out guys, the shape is finally done. It's nice and smooth and I am curious how it will fit the axle. Let's check it out. Wow, that's awesome. That's awesome. Check this out, how it copies the contours of the axle. Wow, that's actually pretty. Let's drill the holes and put the rubles there. Check this out guys, I have the final version of the bottom bracket. The contours perfectly follow the shape of the axle, doesn't touch us anywhere. So let's continue on that second part over here. But before that, uh, we have to put there the parts of the steering. I cleverly stuck behind these. <laughs> so I will take it out and we will place it here into this point and it runs over here to the steering system here. Let's go. So guys, this is the hydraulic ram for the steering over here. And this is the control that goes all the way to the steering box. We need to put that ram there first because we don't want it interfere with the bracket I'm just making. We need to disconnect it there first. Ah, awesome, it's out. Check this out guys, I have the hydraulic ram for the steering on the truck. It will be here just like that. And we have some interference here. This part will be bolted over here. And this part welded to it, but we have a little interference. So we need to trim it a little bit, no problem. This is clearly interfering. So what I need to do now is to eliminate this interference between the ram and the bracket. So I'm going to lift up the axle to the maximum position to know how far this will go into the ram.
The bottom bracket is touching there. <coughs> I have to cut it off before I continue because I'm lifting this here already. Still need a little bit more. So this is the highest position of the half axle as far as I can go because I am I think I am already lifting the whole structure. So the bracket must start somewhere here. It can go further and something similar over there. So this is, I think, the final shape it can actually have made by this tape over here. So this is as far as we can go probably. So I already know the contour of the back of this bracket and I need to determine uh, what is the final contour of the front. I need to put as much material as I can and uh, at the same time, don't interfere the steering. We need to cut these U-bolts just above the nuts to clear the steering mechanism here. It is hitting this nut a little bit. So I have to grind down that nut a little bit over here. It's just about half a millimeter or something, something funny like that. Guys, the bottom of the ball joint hit, is hitting the nut of the U-bolt. I put it there. Fortunately, there is no other room to put your boat there. And on the other side, there was different, uh, there was a little bit more room. So uh, later on, I will probably cut the bottom of the thread over here, which is perfectly okay. Now maybe I just lift it a little bit because we are doing something else. Adding mass into this first bracket over here. So guys, I have pretty good idea how the bracket will finally look by using the tapes on both sides. And we are going to add the maximum mass, it means maximum strength for the place we are getting here. And now we are going to make something like that from this. That's just the template. We cut too much of it. Check this out guys, this is the template over here and this is the final product. 
much better. So let's put it there. And just like this. That's actually pretty. We are going to put two more bolts over here later on. But now we'll check if it doesn't uh, have any interference with the, with the hydraulic ram over here and the steering arm and uh, or steering rod. Wow, it looks pretty well. Look at that. Very close, but doesn't, doesn't touch it. There is about one centimeter there, that's perfect. And you'll see how much longer this can be when we lower it. There is actually plenty of room here. We can bring it much closer. Maybe like this. Mm -hmm. So this will be the final. Guys, it seems like the first half of the second bottom bracket fits perfectly into its space. Now we are going to drop the axle down and connect this rod over here to figure out if we don't have any interference in this area. Let's go. It's already moving a little bit. All that assembly, it, it sits on that little piece of wood there. So this is the lowest point. So obviously this little bit raised by how far? This point is higher. This is probably it. We will need to add the gap about two inches, maybe one and a half inch. Jsem tak otupělej, to je tak <laughs> mentálně zničující, takhle pomalý proces. Už to dělám týden. <laughs> den. So guys, let's modify this last bottom bracket. We'll cut off a little bit of the material here and on another side and also modify the back. If I'm lucky, I can use it. If not, I will make another one. really good and now to trim this part and we are done we are done with all of it almost <laughs> Oh my God, check this out guys. It looks awesome. It's amazing, look at that. There will be weld between these two pieces over here. There will be brace inside. Look at that. It looks really awesome. It really does. Wow, I'm so happy. And let's check if there is any inter interference with that. I don't think so. It's perfectly clear here. Even when it moves, there is plenty of room. Let's check the RAM. Check this out. It <laughs> <laughs> it just go around it. It's amazing. 
everybody, it's another day because this stuff is so time consuming. If you have ever done any vehicle build, you for sure feel my pain. But the results are incredible. Take a look at that. It looks really good. I really, really like the re results over here. So what you are going to do is we are going to cut a little bit more material here to have better access to these nuts. Two bolts, two holes for, the, for two bolts over here. Make brace over here inside to make it stronger. Two more holes for this U-bolt. Cut a little bit more of this material, trim the edges. And that will be it. Let's go work. Now I hope I will be able to put the bolts from, uh, from the bottom. It will not interfere with anything there. Yes! I hope I will be able to put the socket there too. Yes! That's awesome! The second side will be easy, there is more room. And now guys, the middle part is done. These four bolts will give it very good stability. And now let's finish the bottom one. Oh, check this out, guys. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. It's awesome. Check this out guys, the second most difficult part of the build is done at the bottom of the suspension bracket. Check this out, no interference here, no interference here, no interference here. I am so glad I have already all the measurements so I don't have to do this from scratch because it was a nightmare to determine the final shape of the bracket. Amazing!
And this will be it for today, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you don't want me to pause the video production because I need to work abroad to fund it, please consider to become a patron. Even $1 a month makes a lot of difference for me and no difference for you. Thanks for watching. See you on Tuesday.